Hi, it's Jonathan, and I wanted to do another vlog for you. Um, hey, I'm a little nervous right now. Sorry, because... Yeah, I want to do another... I'm a perfectionist, too, so... Um, but I've been thinking about you a lot. Um, all the time, but like especially this coming week, I've been thinking about you a lot because um, it's the one year anniversary of losing you. Sorry, I don't mean this to be awkward. Um, I'm trying to be candid right now, so I'm trying to be honest. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm nervous. But I miss you so much. Anyway, I've been thinking about about you a lot this, especially this week, and I hadn't cried for you in a while about you in a while. But like I cried a few times this week. So I've been thinking about you a lot um, this week because it's like one year later since I lost you. Um, this is not, sorry this is awkward, this is awkward for me, because like I don't even know if you're going to watch this, like I want you to know I'm still in love with you, um, gosh. okay, <laughs> get through this, Jonathan, get through this, like I, I'm going to do this vlog, I have no idea how I'm going to act, like, <laughs> and, like, I wrote stuff down I'm going to tell you, but, um, like, I have, you know, imagination I have in my head of how I'm going to act and what I'm going to say to you, <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't know, I, like, have all these emotions that have been going and in, running inside my spirit about you, and, um, like, I just wish I could, ex this one vlog, I just wish this vlog could do justice to how I'm feeling about you, how I feel about you, what I've been thinking about you, but like, it'll just happen. The vlog will just, <laughs> will just happen. But like, I'm still in love with you, and um, I guess I don't know. I guess I'm just crazy. I just like, I feel like I just gotta ride it out, being in love with you until I meet someone better than you. I can't imagine meeting someone better than you. Um, but. Like, I feel like, well, I want to be responsible for my telling you that I, I love you, and that I'm in love with you, and I'm still in love with you, and when I told you that in my last letter, I knew that the, well, to me, it was just even saying that to me is, that carries so much weight, like, my telling you I love you and my telling you that I'm in love with you, those mean something to me. I take that very seriously. It has a lot of weight to me when I tell someone that I'm in love with you, that I love you. So I want to be responsible. I take, I take responsibility for that. It's like I'm not going to just tell you I'm in love with you, tell you I love you, and just... Like, it's so unfair. Like, I tell you I'm in love with you, tell you I love you, and then you're gone from my life. Like, I guess it's, it's unfair for me, it's unfair for you that... I don't, I want to be responsible for telling you that. I don't, I hope this vlog doesn't go over 15 minutes. But, um, like, I, I'm trying to be realistic <laughs> that most likely you're not going to watch this vlog. Most likely you have forgotten about me. Obviously, you haven't forgotten about me if you're watching this vlog right now. Try not to say your name. Okay. Secret. <laughs> um. Okay. But like, I, I'm being realistic that you are. You probably have a boyfriend now. You will have a boyfriend, and you'll find someone better than me. Being realistic that you're. Parents won't let me have anything 
to do with you, parents, my real being realistic that um, you're upset with me that I lied to you, that I hurt you. Um, so like, just trying to be realistic that you're not coming back into my life. Like Jonathan has to move on, and I'm crazy. So like, being realistic that I have mental issues, and like. I'm crazy that I'm in love with you. It's like I'm just being mental. Like Jonathan is crazy. So Yeah. Um <laughs> but anyway, like the slimmest chance that you would see this, like you deserve my honesty. You 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 deserve my faithfulness and you deserve this vlog. It's like I'm willing to be crazy. For you, like, like maybe I'll like you'll never come back into my life. And years later, I'll see this vlog. I'll think, well, Jonathan is crazy. Well, maybe years later, I'll find out that you despise me, and like you're so hurt by how I how I hurt you. Then I'm gonna years later, I'll look at this vlog and say, Jonathan, this is crazy. You did this vlog, but I'm I'm willing to take that chance to look stupid. I'm willing to take that chance to be a fool and to, to just look completely stupid for you because you deserve you deserve my stupidity you deserve my foolishness <laughs> even though this is probably crazy doing this vlog but that's why I'm doing this I'm doing this vlog because I want to somehow be connected to you because I can't talk to you but like I'm if you really are watching this vlog you've probably seen my other vlogs I am I'm feeling so self-conscious Eva, if you've seen my other vlogs, because, like, I'm so stupid. I'm such a dork. And I say stupid stuff, both for good and for better. Say, yeah. If there's a good way to say bad, bad way to say stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm embarrassed, because, like, there's no way you could like me, because looking at my vlogs. Um... There's no way you could be interested in me because of my vlogs, so... Like, you're watching this. If I've said any, anything in my vlogs, like, anything that has hurt you, um, I want to strongly apologize for that. Like... Generally, my vlogs, I'm trying to fight for s social justice, fight against racism, fight against war, and just, like, I try to be radical about that. And don't mean to hurt people, but, like, possibly I've hurt you, and I want to say it. Eva, I'm so sorry if I've hurt you. <laughs> I was gonna say your name, I, I did. Okay, um, so like, like my last letter to you. I should probably do this vlog in two sections in case it goes over, but I'll try to get it done. Okay. Um, I sh I really should. <laughs> I should do this vlog because I like my account is set to go over 15 minutes for a vlog, so that's what I'll do. You know, I'm gonna do like two vlogs. Because if you're watching this, like, no one else is going to watch it. Like, that's the deal. I'm going to do two vlogs for you, because I don't want to go over 15 minutes. And I just want to express myself. And if you're watching this, obviously you have a interest in what I'm telling you. So, which is good news. Very good news for me. Um, I'll say one more thing, and I'll do another vlog. Because I don't want this vlog to go over 15 minutes. But last year, when I wrote my letter for you, my last letter for you, I told you I, I was in love with you. Except for telling the number, my the little number I gave about related the number related to me as a person and other things I did not say about myself. Like that was true. Everything I told you about how I felt about you is true. Um. I, I'm trying to say, like, first of all, like, the night, like, I waited a week to see your response to my letter, because I just, I just knew, or I felt that it was going to be a negative response, you weren't going to write to me ever again, you don't want to have anything to do with me, like, I wrote you that love letter, and I felt like you were, it was going to totally reject me, and... So, I waited a week to check my email 
see how he responded. Um, like that night, I read your letter. Is um, I think I told you about Amy before my emails to you. Well, that night, that was the first night I had seen Amy in a few years, and it's kind of complicated between Amy and I. Maybe I'll tell you later. But like, I was looking forward. I thought that would be the greatest moment of my life to see Amy. I saw her at a, cafe, a coffee house that night at Blue Moose. And um, she told me she was engaged to be married. And she didn't want to have anything to do with me. And I was heartbroken. So that same night I thought, well, I might as well just check my email. See what you had told me. Because like I'm heartbroken because of Amy. So, like, I got those two emails, and, well, the first one, like, I read, you know, the do not contact email. <laughs> and I, I just thought, I was reading that, like, of course, that's going to be, that's my life. So, of course, that happens to Jonathan. So, reading that letter, I was like, of course. That was the response I expected, um, the do not contact letter. That's Jonathan's life. That's what I expected. Um, so I was not surprised by that letter. I don't know who I don't know who wrote that actually. I don't know if it was your parents or somebody else, like FBI, FBI or something. Checking my emails, writing to Andre Charles. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I don't know who wrote that, but like that, I did not expect that. I mean, I expected that response. Um. So I read that letter, but your letter, your last letter to me, Eva, I only, I did not, I honestly did not read it. I only read a couple lines, because I was heart, at that point, I was like heartbroken. I was like, then I was like, this is my life. So at that moment, read those two letters, I was more concerned about Amy. It's like, I was actually not too concerned about your letter, because I was so worried about Amy at that time. So, but I was, I read two couple lines from your letter, and I'll be honest, I was bewildered, because, well, at least I feel like I've never had that response towards me in my life before. Like, I did not expect you to have that response, and you wrote me that email. Like, so I was bewildered by your response. Um, I was shocked, to be honest. But let me, I'm gonna, okay. You know, I'm going to break into two emails because I'm afraid this is going over. So go to the next, go to the next email, uh, go to the next vlog. I'll um, continue what I'm telling you.